Pregnancy is a joyful time for families, but sometimes the joyful anticipation turns into sorrow. Miscarriage is a hidden cross, what one mother we interviewed called part of a sad sisterhood. For this week's Pro-Life Focus, we introduce you to a group offering guidance along the path to healing. I vividly remember that first day just being very um, wrought with emotion and upset. When a woman learns she's pregnant, she dreams of meeting her unborn child face to face, but she never dreams of this. We were expecting our third child, um, and uh, it was um, an unexpected um, finding in our doctor's appointment, my 16-week doctor's appointment. Um, I was four months along, and um, the technician couldn't find a heartbeat, and then the doctor came in, and he, neither he could find a heartbeat either. Colleen Sullivan shares after she and her husband learned she would deliver their miscarried baby, panic washed over them. And then I woke up the next day and I thought, how are we going to bury our child? <laughs> how are we going to get the remains of our child to bury? Where are we going to bury our child? Um, where do I start? Burying a baby was something the Sullivans didn't prepare for. Like other families who experienced miscarriage, they were building a crib, not a casket. It was at this critical and vulnerable time, a new apostolate entered into the Sullivans' lives. I uh, begged God, I prayed my entire life that I would never have to bury a baby. And I feel like the Lord said, okay then, you can bury hundreds of babies. Kara Palladino is the founder and program director of A Mom's Peace, an apostolate serving mothers of miscarried and stillborn souls. The group was founded after Palladino's own encounter with loss. When I was expecting my seventh child, I learned that the baby had died. And when my husband and I went out to inter that baby, we um, came across these costs that were just beyond what we could even fathom. She experienced firsthand the many questions families face immediately after losing an unborn child ones that many parishes and parents cannot answer. I usually will get a, a phone call um, more often from a dad than a mom because he's trying to care for her and the family and he doesn't know what to do either. A mom's piece, which is completely volunteer run, helps families at no cost put together a proper burial for their baby one that reflects the dignity of the unborn child's life. Four years after Palladino launched the apostolate, we meet at one cemetery where they've helped roughly 100 babies be laid to rest. The amount of lost lives speaks to the great need for a mom's peace. It is very much a silent suffering. It's like a, like a secret sister loss club. A good friend of mine kind of mentioned this as the sad sisterhood that you join when you lose a child. And it was a beautiful way for me to see that there's really a network that's building and that can help each other to um, grieve together and to heal together. Deacon Gerard Marie Anthony also serves with the Mom's Peace to help with the burial services and to provide spiritual support. Amen. These Catholic mothers underwent both a testing and strengthening of faith throughout their miscarriage journeys. The journey with God has been hard. Um, it's built a lot of more trust. And I, after first losing um, our son Gabriel in 2015, um, I kept feeling my heartstrings in prayer being just told, trust, trust me, just trust me. Um, that was very difficult to do um, because we then had two additional losses. Being asked to trust in a very real way, um, knowing that as a Catholic it's very important us to be open to life and wanting to have more kids. Um, but as Kara has told me beautifully and which I hold on to and know when you're open to life, you're open to loss. You have to get up every day and give it to Mary. And Mary knows what you're going through because Mary lost a son. Nearly three years since her first miscarriage, Colleen Palladino says she has found peace, and that's why she now gives back as a volunteer with the group. There are many of us who want to help in different capacities, whether that's 
you know, helping you to get the remains of your child to bury, whether that's coaching you through the grief that comes afterwards, whether that's praying with you, um, and being part of this sad sisterhood. Though a mom's peace serves this sad sisterhood, the founder of the group says her hope is to ultimately serve our father. I don't do this in my name. I do this for God. I do this in the name of the church. I do this for the mother who, who needs the help. I do this for my sister in Christ. To find out more about this apostolate or to volunteer for them, go to amomspeace.org.